What is up YouTube, Skiz1 here. I asked you guys what questions you have about Skiz Graffiti, about me, about my channel, and boy, going through those questions, it was almost like reading an interrogation script. You guys have a ton of different questions, and I'm gonna be answering those questions today. So I'm gonna start off with some of the easier questions here, and then I'm gonna work into some of the ones with longer answers, uh, including the one in the title. As a side note, if you're interested in the uh, graffiti you see on the freights here next to me, I do have an entire series dedicated to looking at and analyzing graffiti freight train work, and that will be linked in the corner where the cards are. So I'm gonna start off with a couple easy questions here. Owen Clark asking, what was the first time you were introduced to graffiti? Well, um, it seems like it's sort of been a part of my life for my whole life i sort of first got introduced to it being that i live in a small town not in person but actually through the internet the first video i ever saw of graffiti that i can recall was a video of course posted on the iron lack channel one with ewok one with askew one with nus all those legendary artists i saw that when i was basically a little kid and thought that's awesome i want to do that Spawn10 asking a similar question, he's saying, when were you first interested in graffiti? Have you always had an artistic side? Also, when you first started doing graffiti, did it come natural or did you need to build your skills and knowledge? I would say before I got interested in graffiti, I did not uh, ever pick up a piece of paper and a pencil to try and draw anything in my life. Since I got into graffiti, I would say I've learned a lot more about other types of art as well, and I've taken some actual art classes now as well because of that. When I started, like everyone when they start, there wasn't many things being put down that were very good. When I have looked at my past work, or actually specifically when people have sent me uh, work and they want critiques of it, sometimes I see it and I'm like, huh, I never really did that kind of stuff when I was starting out. So obviously when I started out my stuff was pretty bad, but I like to think uh, I didn't make some of the mistakes that others make when they're starting out. Smith NLB asking, what is your favorite crew? As a Canadian, I probably should say SDK. As far as crews that have individual members that I enjoy, their pieces and their work the most. I'd have to say GBAC, MSK have uh, a lot of great members, love letters as well. I know there's tons that I, I could go on and on about, but uh, those are the ones that come to mind first. Jacob von Tobnicken, he is asking flame orange or flame blue. To be honest, Jacob, whenever I get to use either of the flame spray paints, I am feeling pretty good because generally the flame's a bit more expensive to come by than say iron lac, so I pick up the iron lac instead. Can control asking favorite color, favorite can, top five influencers, how Canadian are you? Well, I guess I'm as Canadian as every other Canadian. Favorite can, I really enjoy working with the flame cans. Actually, I really enjoy working with Molotov, but again, I buy whatever is on sale, basically. Favorite color, I'm gonna decline to answer because I don't think I have a good answer for that one. Puff the Puffin asking, what is your favorite marker for tagging and why? Personally, mine's the Magic Ink Glass Body. My go-to mops are all the grog mops. I just really enjoy the grog paint formula myself. Solid markers always have a big spot in my heart. They are gorgeous, gorgeous markers and uh, they're, they're a lot of fun. I've been using those for years and years. Marco asks, skinny caps or fat caps? Fat caps, my friend. Kale Anka asking, do you think real graffiti is trains, not freights like Metro? I think people put far too much thought into what real graffiti is and people should spend a little more of that time thinking, actually just doing what we all love to do, which is graffiti in general. d -locks, have you ever racked paint? No, I've never really had a, had a reason to, so I've never uh, done that. Elijah Lyrics, do you paint alone or with a crew? I have always painted alone. A couple times I've painted with a couple of my friends who don't do graffiti, just cause, you know, they wanted to come along or whatever. But in general, I've always painted alone. I do not have a crew. Markers versus cans, also from Elijah Lyrics. Have to say cans for sure. Maybe a few years ago, I would have said markers and markers definitely always have uh, their place for sure but for me it's got to be cans a couple questions about me now what do you do for work your future career goals asked by Tony right now I'm uh, finishing up a degree a BBA degree in university I work in supply chain right now at the moment in future my goals are honestly to 
create enough revenue streams that I can just do art full time, basically, and have enough people interested in what I do to pursue it as a full career. I know that sounds like a crazy goal, but that's sort of just what I'm interested in doing in life. And I'm, I've sacrificed a lot to try and make that happen already. And I'm pretty much just going to continue doing that because I'm not going to be satisfied with anything else. That leads nicely into my question from Benny Hoagie. Do you make money off graffiti? If so, how? And is this your full-time career? So obviously my last answer will tell you, no, this isn't my full-time career. I would like this to be more of a full-time permanent thing in the future, whether that be YouTube live streaming, doing commissions, mural work, etc. Um, all of that good stuff, just stuff that I'm actually interested in. Do I make money off it? Here and there I do. Um, YouTube sauces me a couple dollars every now and then it's not exactly what you would think of as making money but i do as much commission work as people will pay me to do that's more of a main source of income for me with regards to my art Parisica asking, have you ever got arrested or caught doing graffiti? If not, have you ever done illegal graffiti? I see a lot of people in my comments sections of a lot of videos saying this guy doesn't do any real graph and I think they assume that because I don't upload any illegal work but if you think about it from my point of view, I'm uploading videos like this, talking face to face with you guys. It's just plain not smart for me to upload videos of me breaking the law when I have clear access to information about, about what I look like and you know th things like that so my channel here is never gonna be one where I regularly feature that kind of bombing and because of my sort of public image on this channel in an illegal environment I do have a separate name which will never be revealed to anyone on YouTube Elijah lyrics also asking a similar question about do your parents know that you do graffiti if so what do they think of it over time I've gotten so that I try and just not really talk to my parents about this kind of stuff in any capacity whatsoever. I find that not just with my parents, but with my friends and, and everyone I know, just people don't really understand the lifestyle that us graffiti writers try and embody and why we do what we do. And if there's anyone here who's sort of confused about why graffiti writers, you know, do what we do as well, I'll try and explain it to you this way. I had a conversation with one of my friends where he sort of insinuated that he might have less respect for people who are doing things that are against the law and that type of thing. And my response to him was this, and this is how I'm gonna explain it to you guys as well. I told him I always have more respect rather than less respect for people who I know are graffiti writers. And that's simply because if you're working in an office, how many people in that office do you think love their job? I don't know, maybe it's 50%, maybe it's 60, maybe it's 80%, who knows? But it's not 100%. And if I ask you the same question, how many people do you think love their job of being a graffiti writer and being out actually doing graffiti because it's what they love? Every single person who's out here risking their freedom is going to say yes. They not only love what they do, they're so passionate about graffiti and they're so passionate about embodying that lifestyle that they're actually willing to risk their freedoms just to do something they love. And to me, that is something that is very very worth respecting much more so than a lot of other people's career choices or lack of career choices that lead to them doing just whatever job they could pick up for me personally i would have a much much more steady income a much easier life if i were to throw in the towel and say you know what i'm gonna just continue on down the sort of career paths that i've chosen i'm gonna have a degree i can get jobs but that's not what i want to do in life and i have enough respect for myself to try and actually do something that I love, even though it's so hard to make that actually happen. Grub Graffiti asking, have you ever been in a chase while doing graph? When did you first do graffiti? Well, those are sort of more stories than questions that I can tell you guys, and the answer to both of them is sort of yes, including the one uh, in Melbourne, if you guys haven't seen, I'll link the video in the corner. But there have been some sort of run-ins with uh, people I wasn't too keen on talking to. If you want me to talk about those, you know, give this video a like and I'll make another proper sort of story time video talking about my, my avoidance of sort of bad situations. But for now, that's all the questions that you guys submitted to me. I wanted to do this while I still have sort of a relatively small number of people interested 
in asking questions so I could answer every single one of your questions. And to my knowledge, I answered every question on uh, the community posts that I put out asking for the questions. So I hope I did. I hope I satisfied you with the answers. Leave any questions that you didn't put on that initial post, if you didn't see that, down in the comments. And if there's enough questions on this video, I can do a part two answering more of your questions about Skiz Graffiti, about the channel. If you're new here, take a look around at the channel. We do a lot of graffiti freight train watching videos. I showcase some of my work on the channel. We review lots of graffiti products, talk about graph. If you decide you're sort of enjoying the content, feel free to maybe uh, hit that subscribe button. Let me know and let me know what you guys want to see on the channel besides asking those questions in the comments as well. That's all I have for this episode. Until my next video, peace.